There we go. I think that's working. I've just managed to highlight your brother's comment there as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everyone, to a, a random, what time is it? Two o'clock, two in the afternoon stream, which is unusual for me. Um, I'm here with Derek. How are you? Hello. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Good to see you. Good to catch up. Um, for those of you who, who don't know who Derek is, I've linked your channel below. Um, do you want to briefly tell us uh, what it is you do and where you yeah. are? Sir? Yeah, my name is Derek. I'm a full-time um, UK reseller I'm located in Scotland. Um, and I've been reselling full-time for just under two years now, I think, and um, part-time quite a while before that. So, yeah. yeah. And I've got a YouTube channel called Tap Peddler. Yes. <laughs> I bet most people will know. Oh, that's good timing. I've got a ka-ching. Let's have a look. Oh, £43 worth of Lego. I'm doing it in kilo bundles at £16 a kilo. Oh, nice. Hang on, that doesn't add up. How is it? 40? Oh, 44 Does that make sense? Yeah. Nice. I've got quite a lot of my son's old Lego to get sorted and listed. Because um, he doesn't doesn't play with it anymore. It's too old for it. So, he's, so yeah, I've just got to get it all sorted and listed now. I did tell some Duplo the other day that I got from the car boot. That yeah. sold pretty much instantly, but I think I undersold it. <laughs> so, oh, right. Did you yeah, sell it as a bundle then? It was a bundle. I think it was three kilograms, and I put it on, I think it was 19, 99, and it sold pretty much instantly, which worries, always worries me. Yeah, um, I mean, you I was, may have held out for more, but that's not far off. It didn't look that bad from the solds, but yeah. I wasn't sure if there was some, there was some like unique pieces in there of like, little patterns on and stuff i just wondered one of them might be like a rare one or something I don't know. Not, so much, not so much of the collecting side goes on with duplo that i'm aware of certainly right. figures and animals you can ask a real premium and, and, and hold out for that but i think you did okay yeah, that. yeah i separated the figures i've got another bundle with figures and vehicles like things with wheels and stuff so. yeah definitely yeah. um so yeah we are live um I'm sure most people will have seen because you came on, our, on on the channel only a couple of months ago, didn't you? But, yeah. Um, so let's quickly say a few hellos. Uh, so that that was your brother, Richard, by the way. Um, if people don't know, um, Chris is there. Um, Darren says afternoon. Good afternoon to you. Eyes are here. Good to see you. Um, for those that were watching us last night, um, the video is taking longer to edit than we thought about this ongoing farce of an eBay case, because we've taken advice to edit out the voices of the um, eBay reps. So we're having to annotate everything they're saying and, and take the volume out. And so it's gonna. We're looking at tomorrow now for that. By the way, um, we've got archive. Hi there, Carl. <laughs> You should do like a voiceover, like put on, put on uh, voices and have different resellers doing, doing uh, different um, voiceovers for it. Well, that would be great actually, but then it would be about a week away until the video yeah. comes out. That would okay. take forever. It's taking long enough just to just to work out what they're saying and write it and then add it in and oh. yeah. But, yeah. but hopefully it'll be worth doing. It's going to be quite an entertaining video, I think. Yeah. Uh, so a few more hellos, Double Decker, John, uh, Diane, Gimbal, Helen, lots, lots of people. Oh, Tracy's in. Hi, Tracy. So we thought, um, well, people watching may have seen that Rod and I did a bit of a listing challenge, um, and it really helped keep me on track, uh, well, both of us, actually. And we were chatting a while ago and thought we'd have a go. So how, how do you think we're going to do it? Exactly the same as you did with Rod? Yeah. Um, I mean, I usually, when I when I sort of work out what I've been doing throughout the week, I usually put the monetary value plus the amount I list. So a, mi a mixture of both would be good. Yeah. Okay. Well, if we keep track of that then, so the number of items and the total, just the item cost, ignore the postage if we add it on. Otherwise, it gets really complicated yeah yeah okay so we'll track that i'm going to try and vlog as i go so i've got a little bit of a how i got on through my week and then if yeah. we don't share totals we'll come back and do another one of these next monday and, and yeah. see how we get on. sounds good okay 
And if anyone wants to join in, um, keep track of what you're doing. And then when we go live next Monday, you can share your vocals. Um, it's not necessarily a competition. Obviously, it kind of is. And that's part of the motivation. But the, the point of this and what worked really well with Rod was it just had I had a little bit of motivation in my head thinking, well, Rod, somewhere down in Australia is beavering away. Yeah. And I need to keep up. So that's the whole point of this to keep us on track. So if anyone does want to join in and share your numbers with us on the next video, uh, yeah, please do. Let's see what the chat's saying. Make them sound like chipmunks. <laughs> what do they rep? It's a great idea, but I can't see it happening. It just takes far, far too long. You should change the voice so it, you know, when you get those um, things where they completely change the voice to somebody else's voice, but it's still the actual recording. I wonder if no. you could do that. That would be great if there was some sort of filter we could lay over each of their where they're speaking. Yeah. And mutate the voice. So, you know, like if <laughs> you see them on films when they sort of, you know, they're sort of, some sort of terrorist or something, and they've got some sort of <laughs> voice over. Yeah, well, like I, I don't want to <laughs> paint them in a picture as to look like a terrorist, but black, out, black them out and have some really weird deep voice. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be quite the image that um, I'm no. going for. Um, yeah. We'll see. Well, it, it hopefully will come out tomorrow and, and people can let me know what they thought. But it's it's a big enough edit as it is. Ah, I was just going to touch on this. Um, Kelly is in. Hi, Kelly. Says, uh, hi, all. Wow, Derek, office is looking good. Now, it looks like a different room. Yeah, I'm, my plan is to do a video, but I'll let me see if I can into the camera. So I've got my ph photography area there. Obviously, this is all recently done, so it's it's seen in in its best light. It won't stay like this. <laughs> I've got a tidy floor as well, as much as you can see, and um, I've got shelving at the back and shelving all the way along the wall there. Um, yeah, so it should really really help. Although a lot of the rubbish that that um, was in here is is now elsewhere and i've got to sort through it and get it listed now so right my death pile sort of increased <laughs> because i had a lot of stuff sort of stacked away it's amazing what wasn't actually listed as well that was on the shelves right. so i had a collux unit and i actually got rid of that in the end um so i thought the shelving i've got at the back probably more ideal for the sort of stuff i sell um so i got rid of that um I've kept a little drawer thing that allows me to store like small items and stuff in, which is quite useful. So I've kept that. But I put all the shelves sort of um, at an angle. They're sort of at a 90 degree angle to how you would normally have them. So I've got sort of bays um, so I can still get in. And I've also put two big bits of wood um, and, <laughs> yeah, um, just there over the top of the shelves. So I can basically stack them up because the ceiling Right, angle that there you oh, go wow. it's quite a lot of storage on the top then yeah um, yeah and i also created a little bit of storage in my garage as well um from doing all of this as well so yeah i've got loads of empty shelves now to fill so that won't take you long <laughs> it won't take long there this is the cleanest that will ever be and i've got a yeah. desk going as well which is really good so i can stand up and work as well as sit down um, yeah. Well, have you found that that's increased your efficiency or, or just made it a more pleasant place to work already? Has it changed um, how you're working? I haven't really done a great deal of work since I did the office. You've so been gearing up for this challenge. This isn't fair. Like, you're all set up and ready to go. <laughs> well, my plan is to have the desk sort of in this standing position when I'm taking the photos. So I literally just take the photos, walk over here, type away and you know so it's a lot easier whereas if i'm sitting down and just listing then i'll have it down at the sitting down position so the whole desk raises and lowers yeah i'll probably i'll probably oh. sit oh, <laughs> yeah. sitting down it'll just <laughs> we're just slowly disappearing holy <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, yeah. cow so you've got like a an electric powered so, desk yeah it's electric 
Yeah, it costs quite a bit. I got it when I, I first, um, when I left Rockstar and um, I worked from home then. And so I spent quite a lot of money sort of getting the office kitted out with fancy equipment. Mm. Uh, and since I did the eBay and went full time, I've had so much sort of stuff at the back of the desk. It hasn't been able to go up and down because it needs it needs sort of the free sort of space. Oh, no, so you, you've had this fancy desk for years and you haven't been able to use it. I've been able to use it now. So. Ah, well, now, now you're cooking on gas with your fancy yeah. desk and your clean office. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm quite pleased with it. So there's still a few little bits and bobs to do, but um, yeah, it's much more organised for selling on eBay. Before it was designed for a normal sort of work at home person with, without any storage so um now i've got the, a door here just here and a door up there and everything behind me is sort of on its own so i don't need to go down that way unless i unless i sort of get something off the shelf so i can really sort of get loads of stuff down there now right yeah so regarding listing this week have you have you got a a plan of action have you got a pile that you're going to tackle or you uh, just grab from the from the shelves and go pretty much I, i've i went to a boot sale um yesterday and um also the week before um and because i was doing the office that i didn't really do much listing then so um i've got all of that to go on i've got the stuff that came out of the office that needs sorting through as well so that that might be a bit more time consuming as well sort of sorting it and seeing if mm. it's worth listing and stuff and the stuff off the death pile and try and bring that down as well because that that's quite full again now you know so, <laughs> but there's a lot of, what i did notice i've got a lot of big items that basically take off a whole shelf almost mm -hmm. could be listed yeah you know, i love periodically list. going through and just picking the largest stuff i have because yeah. for whatever reason, mentally, I kind of avoid that stuff, which is really daft. So periodically, I go through. Maybe I'll do that this week, and just just pick the biggest, but biggest, bulkiest stuff. And they're never as complicated to list as you think. You just you just no. tackle it head on, and then they they go out the door, and it's like wow, space. Hello. Yeah. So yeah, but I've, I've still got um, the remnants of this Lego that I've been working on. So I'm going to have to plow through that, which is it's going to be lots of lots of listings but low value so that might get me ahead in numbers wise but i might be you know struggling behind you so we'll have to see how that pans out but then again if i do these in 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 bundles there could be quite a lot of value so i don't know that might pay off but i need to finish the lego before i get on to whatever's up there yeah so let's see it'll be interesting i'm looking forward to to having that motivation of knowing that you're up there beavering away with all this stock you've got yeah i need yeah. it as well because i haven't listed probably because i had my brother up here and then i had my, my father up here and then we've been doing the office here you know, tidy in the office so i really haven't done a lot of listing no new things going on um for about two weeks so i'm well, stuck perfect timing then really for both of us i think yeah, and sales are really sort of plummeted as well so i really need to get the stuff listed and stuff as well so yeah Oh, I forgot I highlighted uh, Stu is in. Stu Mandry says, is that desk actually rising or just Derek slowly going into a hole in the floor? Yeah. Um, RZ says, that is an amazingly cool desk. It really is. Yeah, it's something I would never get now if I, you know, it was a bit of an extravagance at the time. I don't think I'd, I'd want to spend the money now. But Dare I ask how much it was? I can't remember. I think it was about 600, something like that. It's a big one. It's, it's way bigger than what I need as well. You know, it's it's probably about twice the size of the desk I actually need. So I, th I thought about using it for my photography as well, but it, my desk is never tidy enough. You know, yeah. A lot of stuff I sell, I need a big big area for like video recorders and stuff like that. So. Well, I remember you shared a picture recently. It looks like the Starship Enterprise because you've got that fancy like three screen setup going on there as well. And yeah, yeah, awesome. Yeah. Well, that's all that's all from my old work as well because i when i left i bought all the equipment um all the computer equipment from them um because everything was sort of on it anyway so i used it for ebay at the time as well when i was sort of part-time so everything was all set up and uh, you know 
I just wanted to sort of keep keep the same setup. Now I can't go back to like one monitor. It's, it's way too difficult. Right. So I've, got, I've got this like really big curved LG super widescreen monitor. I think it's a twenty-one by nine thing. Um, and then I've got two large sort of widescreen monitors as well next to it. So I've got three three monitors. I did have four at one point when I was actually doing the games programming. I can't I imagine what this is on eBay, why you need that many. I, I guess it's handy, but because I'm just used to using a Mac full stop and my phone. Well, I the way I use it, what, what you use them for. Yeah, the way I use it now when I'm reselling, um, I have YouTube generally on one full okay. screen. <laughs> so that's basically like a TV. And then, um, then I have eBay open in one window that's sort of research stuff. And then I've got the listing one on another window. So. That sort of works out quite well. And obviously, if I'm listing, I've also got photos in a window. You yeah. know, I, I find that works out quite well. So, yeah, definitely couldn't go back to. Yeah. Some, sometimes I visit my my father and um, try and do some listing when I'm there, and he's got like a just a normal laptop, and <laughs> it's so difficult. I just can't. I can't manage really. It's so difficult. So. Yeah. I, I suppose it is what you get used to, really, like you said, and, and it's hard to go back once you upgrade to stuff. It's like getting a label printer. I, I spoke to somebody recently who still hasn't taken that step and, and is cutting and pasting or handwriting. It's like, yeah. you know, and getting a laser printer, I could, I could never go back. Getting a label printer, I could never go back. Getting these small lights, I could never go back. It's like yeah. once, you, it's once you move forward with your business, it's really hard to imagine going backwards. I thought about getting some of those small LED lights as well. Um, mm. Now I've changed all my office around. You know, I've, I've managed to squeeze them in a little bit better than how they were. I'll show you. Yeah, you've got the umbrella ones. Yeah, I've got some like that. But the window sills are quite wide, so I've managed to sit them on the window sill. Okay. And um, they're sort of out of the way now a bit more than more than what they were. And just as long as they don't yeah. fall down, then it should be okay. Yeah, so, my daughter's uh, uses mine now for her A level photography, so it's ideal really uh, for what yes. she does. And I've got these, which are much more because I use them to light. I'm being lit by them now. They're right. so much easier to move around. I just lift up the tripod and put it back over there. Whereas with those massive umbrella things, they, I couldn't move them. It was just such a faff. Well, I've got a load of clothing to get listed, and um, I take the clothing actually in one of my kids' bedrooms because there's like an empty wall where. I can get a good background to it, and um, but the lighting isn't very good. So, if I if I take take photos in there, I've got to drag one of those um, umbrella ones through there. So mm. that's a bit annoying, you know. If I had a, like a smaller one, then it would just be easier to. Yeah, try. they are handy. I wish they were slightly more powerful. I mean, they are good, but I notice sometimes I just I just wish they were that they were that little bit brighter. But that's just me being yeah. fuzzy. <laughs> yeah. things could always be better um i forgot as well i just highlighted nigel's comment is it an ejector seat too that'd be good yeah. <laughs> depends who's got the power of pressing the button it is a massaging seat <laughs> it's really what, like a posh gamer seat with a massage in yeah yeah it's it's quite a nice seat but it's it squeaks like hell now because one of the screws are missing on it i've got i've got to try and fix it <laughs> at some point it's going to collapse on me yeah, Owen saying there, I'm a designer with three monitors. Once you use multiple, you can't go back. Owen's yeah. here. Agree, once you have more than one monitor, it's game changing. Yeah. I need a triple monitor stand. It would be great to get the desk space back. Yeah, that, that's what I've got two monitors on a stand, and the stand clamps to the desk. And um, yeah, so you, you don't get any sort of problems with, with space underneath. It's really good. And Jack says, I know exactly what you mean about multiple screens. Oh, maybe this is the future for me. As soon as you go above two or three, then go back to one, it's painful. <laughs> oh, apparently, uh, Edward uh, says, oh, you buggers, you've clashed with my live. Send them over when you're done. OK. So head off to Antiques Arena when we're, when we're done. Oh, that old question's popped up. What's the most expensive thing you've sold in your lifetime on eBay? Well, actually, if I'm honest, it's a camper van. But that, that wasn't a reselling item. That was my own camper van. Um, okay. Well, 
that's all we really wanted to do was, was get this set up and and invite people to keep track of what you list this week. Uh, if you want to keep involved or get involved, uh, Derek and I will convene again. Uh, does next Monday work this sort of time? Yeah, yeah, should be fine. Yeah. So we're going to keep track of how many items we're managing to get on eBay, new items. No, just ending and relisting, because I know you do that. It doesn't count. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we'll keep track of the, the, the number of actual items, new listings, and the monetary value, um, not including the postage. If postage is included, we'll just take that as the figure. Otherwise, it's impossible to work out. Uh, so if you at home want to do the same, uh, you can share in the chat your figures next Monday. Um, like I say, it's not a competition, but kind of is. Um, <laughs> it's just to keep us on track, keep us motivated, because uh, it really worked for me last time. Um, I'll, I'll put some excuses out there already. I've got all of this editing to do for that video. That's still not finished. And I'm trying to do a deal with Kenneth at the moment for thousands of pounds worth of stock. I've got that to deal with. See? <sighs> Problems. <laughs> See, I've, got, I've, got, I've got quite a lot of other things to do, but I've, I've, I've managed to squeeze in a few listings, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, George, it's not a competition, but it is a competition. Yes, exactly. Uh, if you want to share your numbers, George, then then please get involved. It's so a competition. <laughs> right. Um, you should do um, Nick versus different countries because you've had Nick versus Australia. You should have Nick versus Scotland. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. That, you, 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 you just laid down the gauntlet there. It's, it's now nation versus nation. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm going to be up till 3 a.m. now fighting for English pride. Yeah. Oh, dear. We all know we all know a reseller in um, Wrexham. <laughs> oh, I could get yeah. Oh, you imagine the excuses that that uh, Andrew would come out with. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's the plan. Um, please get involved if you want to. Uh, oh, there you go. Richard says I may share mine. Need some motivation, and that's the whole point of this. It is just a tongue-in-cheek thing, really, but it's just something to keep us on track because I am the world's worst finding something else to do and then going down a rabbit hole of whatever it is you know youtube is a bad one um so this will just keep me on track yeah a world cup of listing <laughs> okay this is getting out of hand now um peter's in yeah if you want to keep track of your numbers again this week peter and share them in the we're going to do another stream on next monday and, and share how we got on um so yeah, everyone's welcome to share their numbers in the side chat and we'll read those out. Apparently China would win. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, Peter says, I've got a listing idea that might help. I'll let you know. Yeah, get in touch if it's something that I can help out with. If or if you want to get do a collaboration like this on the channel, then then give me a shout. Okay, so we're gonna wrap this up. Apparently, Edward uh, or Walter. Hey, oh, there you go, Gimbal has said. He uses both names. Oh, that's not the comment. Hold on. That one. Uh, we'll pop over and see what Edward's up to on his stream. Hopefully you caught the, the live stream I did with Edward where we were testing silver. That was quite interesting. Yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah. And until next Monday, Derek, good luck listing. Um, we won't share how we're getting on. Uh, so it'll be uh, revealed next Monday. Yeah, uh, sounds good. Best of luck. And yeah, yeah, we'll, see you. we'll speak soon. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone, for popping in. Uh, pop over to Antics Arena, and I'll see you in the side chat over there. Uh, thanks, Derek. Right. All Thank the you. best. See you later. Bye Get later. listening. <laughs> thanks, everyone. Take care. See you soon. Bye. Can't end it. Why is that button not working? <laughs> oh, here we go.